DIY Mother's Day gift. And over here I have spa scriptions, bath bomb, and dome right over here. And I have a basket right over here with some shredded paper and underneath of it is plastic wrap. I put the plastic wrap inside of the basket and then the shredded paper on top of the plastic wrap so it can make it lift up and beautiful. And I love the color a lot. It matches the basket. And I have a lot of more things over here that I'm going to be getting on with it. And over here, I have DIY shredded paper that I made by myself and it's getting stuck to my sleeve. And I cut it and shredded this paper by myself using tissue paper right over here that I got from Dollarama. It has stars and it's half white and it's really, really pretty. I love the colors and the stars remind me of Y2K. So that's why I love it a lot. And um, I couldn't be finding the shredded paper that looks amazing, but I couldn't find it so I made my own DIY. And I have more tissue paper over here, but before we get on to that, I have found some plastic wrap so I can put it around the basket. And I'm going to be making two different types of baskets. One is body work and the other is skincare. And underneath of it, I have more tissue paper like hearts. And then I have this light purple color. And then I have another dark purple color right over here, as you can see right over there and it looks really really pretty and I love it so much so much that the other colors are also really beautiful so we're gonna be getting on to those a little bit later and um, over here I have a lot of more things so stay tuned when I make the basket so the first thing we're gonna be putting into the basket are these cute gray fuzzy slippers and they're very very perfect for your mom when they enter the shower and I just love them so much because the color is gray and they're very very adorbs so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to organize it first put the slippers in the corner and then kind of put the shredded paper over here to kind of like shuffle up the shredded paper and it's gonna look really really cute so the next thing is this Dove gentle cleanser and I just love this so we're gonna be putting it right here like this right here so it's gonna look very very cute and adorable right next to the slippers and in front of it I'm gonna be putting the most gigantic thing ever is the spa scriptions body wash and it is green all the things that I'm putting for it, the body work is gonna be green and I'm gonna be putting this right over here like this just trying to make it stand and then kind of like shuffle up the shredded paper to make it look really good and hide the etc so it's gonna make the it stand so it can look really really nice and in front of this we're gonna be putting the coconut plus lime refreshing body scrub we're gonna be putting it right here like this we're just gonna be trying to like fix it so that's really good and the next thing that we're gonna be putting is this green mint relax bath bombs we're gonna be twirling it upside down and we're gonna be putting it right here in front of the slippers so the slippers can show a bit and you get to fix the angle and voila why did I put it upside down because if I put it upright then the edges are going to be showing so you can just kind of like fix it over there and there and um, it looks really really adorable and I just love this so much because it's really really cute so this is the first basket that I made that's all body works over here I have the body scrub and it's all green color and the slippers the bath bomb and this is the body wash let me just fix this really quick and this is the body wash the cucumber and the dove um, gentle cleanser which is also amazing so this is all the body works basket and I'm gonna be putting the plastic wrap around it so I'm gonna be showing you guys the final results with it around the plastic wrap so this is the first basket and you guys can just take a look around it so you guys can see how I organized it and how it looks and I'm very very impressed with the good job that I did because I just love it and also you can just shuffle around with the um, shredded paper so it can look a little bit good and over here we're going to be fixing the bath bomb a bit so let's just like fix this so it can look a little bit better right here in the slipper too we need to make it a little bit upwards and um, make sure not to twist the cap of the body wash, otherwise it's going to open and it's going to probably like leak. So um, the rest, th everything else that's on the table is for the skincare a basket. So um, let's go ahead and move on to the next basket while I show you guys the results for this one. So this is the second 
basket. It's all about skincare. And as you can see, I already added the DIY shred of paper that inside the basket that I made. But the first thing that I'm going to be adding in here is this cute makeup bag. As you can see, there's a lot of space in here. Not only can you use for makeup, but you can add a lot of skincare products in here as well, such as face masks and face washes. But we're going to be playing around with this. So it's going to look really, really cute. And the next thing that we're going to be adding is this cosmetic applicators. We're going to be putting it right here, like this. And the next thing we're going to be adding is this Viva Coconut Lime Hand and Body Cream. We're going to be putting it right here, like this. And the next thing we're going to be adding is this nail polish remover. And it is part of the skincare product as well. But it's all about good things, you know what I mean? And the next thing we're going to be adding is the Skin Brightening Vitamin E Natural Pearl. We're going to be putting it right here, like this. Good. And the next thing that we're going to be adding is this C'est Moi Shimmer Body Lotion. We're going to be putting it right here. You can use it for your face as well because it makes your face look shimmery and amazing. We're just going to be squishing it over here. The next thing we're going to be adding is this Dead Sea Facial Cleansing Wipe Spa Scriptions. And we're going to kind of squish this away and kind of put this inside. Shuffle around with the paper. Make sure it doesn't stick that much. Good. And the next thing we're going to be putting in is this Makeup Remover Fresh and Clean Aloe Vera Eyes and Lips Only. So we're going to be putting it right here, kind of like this, kind of try to make it stand like this, good. And the next thing we're going to be putting in is the Spa Scriptions Fruit Glow Kiwi. We're going to be putting it right here, we're going to kind of like scooch it like this and kind of make that show and this shimmer body lotion like this. We know, we know we need to make it look very pretty, right? And the next thing we're going to be putting in is this Nivea Purify Rice Scrub. We're going to be putting it right here. Sorry. I was just kind of like thinking where I should put it so it can look good. Because we know we need to look very, very good with basket making. So it can look good for our moms. Because you know our moms deserve a lot of good things. So I'm kind of thinking on putting this a little bit like this, this here, this like this, this over here, this good. And um, that's really good because now we have to like kind of like shuffle with the paper and stuff. So it can like, you know, not look simple. Right. Okay. Alright, make sure the plastic wrap doesn't show. Alright then. Well, this is the second basket. I'm very, very proud about how it looked. So you guys can take a look and for the final result. So it's really, really pretty and cute. I just love it so much because our moms deserve a lot. So you guys can just take a look. gift box if you move a little bit to the right you can see over here upwards it says XOXO in the heart and I love it so so much and if you go a little bit down over here as you can see I put in some foam instead of the cute heart shaped box why is that it's from Dollarama and I'm gonna be putting some flowers and chocolate in the middle but we're gonna be getting on to that a little bit later on if you go a little bit down you can see over here I have some skewers which I'm going to be going on to this a little bit later on. But I got this from Dollarama as well. I'm going to be putting the chocolate on top of the skewers. So I can put it inside of the heart box. Over here I got the Fair Rocher chocolate. And this is not from Dollarama. It's from Shoppers. Which I'm going to be showing you guys how to put the chocolate on top of the skewers for the cute heart box. But moving on a little bit to the right if you scooch. So over here as you can see I got these beautiful red roses. That's from Dollarama which is so adorable. And I'm going to be using this for the heart box as well. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it a little bit more lifted up. And over here, as you can see, there's already ready-made Ferro Rochers. 
chocolates on top of the screws that I already made but I'm going to be showing you guys an example of how to do it as well. So let's scooch on a little bit to the skewer so I can show you guys. So you have to pick up your skewer and get the fair rocher and over here there's going to be like a light colored dot and you have to stick the skewer instead of the light colored dot like this. And then there you go, you have your fair rocher on top of the skewers. But now I'm going to be taking it out, put it back right here. And now I'm going to be showing you guys how to lift up the rose. Over here, you got to go like this. And there you go, it's lifted up. So it looks really, really pretty and cute. So now we're going to be putting it over here. And over here, I got tissues. Why is that? It's because I'm going to be putting it inside of the heart box because it's uh, when your mother gets one of the chocolate skewers, then she's going to see the green and it's not going to make it look good and professional. So that's what I'm going to be putting in the tissue paper in. So whenever they take out the chocolate, they see this cute design. So I'm going to be putting in this and then I'm going to be showing you guys the result of how it looks with the tissue paper inside of the heart box. So one, two, three. So this is the result of the tissue paper inside of the heart box, which now I'm going to be placing the flowers around of it. So now I have to make sure it looks really pretty. And the next flower, we're going to be placing it right over here. Make sure it looks really, really nice and amazing. And now for the next flower, we're going to be placing it right over here there so far we have three flowers and it looks really really pretty we just need to make sure this one is a little bit more lifted up so the next flower we're gonna be placing it right over here carefully so it doesn't you know ruin anything and we have to make sure it it goes up pretty let me show you guys how it looks when I'm done the whole first round. And then I'm going to be showing you guys the second round when four is done. So this is the final result of how it looks with the first round of the flowers. So as you can see over here in the middle, there's only enough space for the Rofero chocolate. So you guys can just take a look around of how it looks with the beautiful flowers around of the first round in the chocolate box. So over here, first things first, we have the Rofero chocolate that we're going to be putting inside of the box. Rofero chocolate number one. Let's put you in. There. Good. So I'm going to be showing you guys how it looks with all of them inside of the middle. And then I'm going to be being back with how it looks with the final results. Anyways, one, two, three. Boom. So this is the final look of the third chocolate box. Well, the others were quite slightly different than this one and I love how the chocolate turned out which you know what I love about this the most is because the chocolate wrap matches the golden hearts over here as you can see and the golden line over here. Over here on the video it shows silver but it's actually gold as you can see over there it shows very gold and I love the red heart which matches the beautiful red roses which I just love how it turned out. So if you like this be sure to make a lovely Mother's Day gift for your lovely mother, just like how I did. And if you like this video, be sure to click the like button and the subscribe button for more videos like this. And click that notification bell when, so you guys can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Be sure to look around and see how I made it. And I just love how I organized it. Over here I have another DIY gift that I made and I just love it so much because it's all about foot and over here there's a foot mask, foot cream and foot shimmering hydrating butter and I love this cozy warm socks which is perfect for the winter season and I just love this vintage box. It gives me vintage vibes. You guys can call it whatever it is and over here it says happiness blooms from within. Dun dun dun. I just love that so much and I love the shredded paper as well which looks really cute with it and I just love this because this is so so fluffy and I just love it so much because it gives the cute vintage vibes but you guys can go ahead and take a look around it see how I made it and 
You guys can just tell me how it looks because I think it came out great. very cute DIY flower basket that I made which is so so cute and I love the pink that's inside of the lilies and I love how there's pearls on the flowers roses that's white and I just love the white bow with this cute little DIY lace that I added that has little pearls on it and I love the golden dots here too and I just love how this turned out which is also really really adorable and cute so this is another DIY gift idea for Mother's Day that you can give to your mother and make something like this and I just love the pink one and I love how they're both like different different colors but it's a mixed match which I love this so much so you guys can take a look around it see how I made it and I just love it so much but um, it's just so cute and I just love it and I think your mother is going to love it so you guys can just take a look around it and tell me how you guys like it. <laughs> 